Hey there, my name is Dr. Not. This is Techno Babylon, and today we are Lao, and we are at the genetics lab, and we have to snoop around some more. So let's go to the production lab, because there's a gentleman in there that we have yet to talk to. His name is Neister, or Neister. Let's talk to him. I'm not going to sing a song. Hi there. Whenever the teacher told you the shortest way. What? What? My name's Dr. Max Lau. I'm a cell case specialist. Wondrous all lies ahead. What would the future yet to come? What accent is that supposed to be? You're not making any sense. And so the evil regularly laughed at deadly hair. Are you alright? With caviar. Can I get your name? Only one parent quietly spat on the electric chair. Okay. What's your role at this facility? Whenever the teacher told you the shortest way. Uh-huh. You've already said that. What happened here? Camouflage paint likes to take a walk in the park. I see. I give up. Insignificance could please even the most demanding follower of Floyd. Okay. Insignificance could please even the most demanding follower of Floyd. All right, all right, I won't touch them. Oh, can we go through here? Yes, we can. Oh my god. Oh god, what a mess. I actually forgot there was a body here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Um, does it not have a head? Let's let's take a look before we touch anything. Update Central. What is the situation, Dr. Lau? Dr. Baxter is certainly dead. He's been decapitated, and not cleanly either. His head has been removed. More like destroyed. At a glance, this would be the most likely cause of death. Nothing unusual found on the body, Central. Estimation on time of death? The climate control in the specimen lab is compromising your sensors. Ambient temperature is just above freezing. What is your estimation of the incident, Dr. Lau? There's too much we can't say for sure. We don't know precisely when Baxter was murdered. We can't even be sure that this was the cause of death. That is a fair assessment. A clearer picture will no doubt follow the autopsy. Don't send in anyone yet. I still need to carry out a preliminary. I understand. Continue your investigation of events surrounding the incident. Understood. Lao out. I hope I can find something to get Regis off the hook. Oh, conflict of interest. Naturally. Uh, what? Okay. Select stored seed samples for retrieval. We've got a Floia theoformis undergoing weaponization, specifically targeting pollinating insects. Client Greater Han Republic. Anunnacia reticulata attempts being made. What am I supposed to be doing here? Okay, attempts being made to isolate useful genome sections and reduce incidence of fatal consumption side effects. Common oat. New strains are currently in development to cope with rapidly changing European climate. Formerly extinct genus in ginseng family being brought out of extinction. Formerly extinct branch of Apacia apia, apiacia. I don't know why I try pronouncing these words. Being tested for use as contraceptive abortifacient, I assume for conceiving or aborting babies. Additive to food, huh? Discovered recently in the Amazon Conservation Zone, a Brasileira is being tested for any marketable traits. Edible member of the begonia genus being developed as convenience food modification to increase sugar content. Cabbage undergoing testing to increase volume through water content. Custom made heliconia plant tailored as vanity project for current Ecuadorian President Miguel San Marcos. Test bed for artificial enhancements in climate survivability. Engineered producer and delivery vector of recreational hallucinogen spark, i.e., spark fruit. Parasitic and extremophilic adaptations of specimen are being targeted for use in other projects. High quality timber, engineered underway, engineering underway for more uniform cuboid shape. Carpet weed, fruiting mechanism under modification for use as robust crop. 
salt tolerant shrub, fruit being modified as production, delivery mechanism for COX2 inhibitor analgesic. Extremophile found on asteroids and comets, X Tizaria grows dangerously quick in our environment. Ecohazard, that sounds fun. Lacks chlorophyll, genes controlling non photosynthetic properties being tested in other specimens, and the garden pea addition of extra nutritional components sourced from other organisms, especially raised protein content. Let's try this one. Can we grab it? Can we actually grab it? Biohazard tree foil on these isn't encouraging. Did I actually just get it? I did. What is this stuff? Better trance up some data on it. One of the only known examples of extraterrestrial life, Exhazardi, was first discovered on Tizard's Comet in 2055 by the ART 3 survey probe mission. Am I supposed to grab all of these? Similar in many respects to terrestrial fungi, this is believed by some to be an example of convergent evolution and panspermia by others. In any case, its extremely rapid growth in Earth's atmosphere poses severe ec ecological risks, while it is highly sought after for study. Samples are closely controlled, posing an obstacle for research. To prevent accidental germination, this organism is stored as a growth matrix, growing only in carefully controlled laboratory environments. This helps to reduce the risk of what some have termed the most mundane alien invasion imaginable. Alright. Was something supposed to pop out at me out of all that? Maybe I should grab all the seats. Can I grab them all? It's some kind of slime. Maybe I should just sample that. Oh, I can sample. Wait. It won't take a DNA sample from the growth matrix. Maybe it needs a bigger specimen? Wait, so I did grab the right one? It's some kind of slime. Huh. I'm going to need to find where he said. So I guess this is the right one because I don't think I can grab any other ones. Let's try. Let me just try it. This one. The Garden Peak. Can I, can I actually grab it? It's some kind of. Is this? Yeah, I guess I grabbed the right one. I don't know. Let's let's go back to the production lab. Can I ask him about this? The growth matrix won't start in that. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. I can't figure out what any of these tools are for. Just ask someone. What else can I... Okay. This guy's not gonna help me. I sincerely doubt he will. Let's go back out here and ask, uh, what's her face? Her, who's always standing by me. Stop walking. Wait, Excuse we're... me, Dr. Chigwa. Make it quick, I'm busy. Have you found anything else with added genetic data? As a matter of fact, I have. There was a batch of Orchidacea isotria in the growth lab, and... And? Hmm, I can't remember exactly which specimen the other was. I do remember that it had yellow flowers, variegated, that is, multicolored leaves, and produced large, round fruit. Is that all? For now. Then yeah, 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 alright. Orchidacea, was that one of them in there? This is the seed bank. Where's the growth lab? Is this the growth lab? That's the production lab. Hmm, let's see if there's anything. There was an Orchidacea something something. Nope, 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 nope. Are these in alphabetical order? Yes, they are. 
Dang it. Anything else around here? Ah. Not that I'm seeing. Alright, let's get out. So we did we grab all the samples in here? I can't remember. Can I grab a sample off the production line? Show them a photograph. All right, all right. I won't touch them. When will plumbers show them a photograph? I grabbed the blue for sure last time. I'm pretty sure I grabbed all of these, but let's just grab them again. I don't remember. I've taken a DNA sample from it. Oh, well then we don't need this. Can we? Oh, maybe you, you mean you just you just did. I see what you're saying. I've taken a deep. Thank you. It doesn't have. Ah, that's all I meant to do. I don't. I think we've already grabbed these. We've already grabbed yellow epigeal plants, red flowered plants, blue plants. Just check the ones in there. There's, there should be nothing new here. Wait. There's some more. Looks like Regis didn't hide any data in that one. Oh, I thought we already grabbed that one before. So I have to grab six of them. I'm going to need to find where he's hidden the rest of the message. Alright. Nothing new is there, so I don't know what we're talking about. I've taken it. Let's grab these three. We've already done this though. I don't know how to get into that airlock. I've taken a deal. I feel like we should get we should be able to get in there. That's where we want to go. I'm guessing. Because Nister's not helpful. We should ask her about Nister, like what I've taken a deal. What's the deal with uh him not responding? Looks like re All right. You don't have to comment after every single one. That's my job. Looks like. Looks like. No. All right. And I. Wetware's not going to connect with that. Can I ask her the about this? Matri I'm not trying to. The growth matrix start it on her. I just want to ask. It's only compatible with the sampler tool. It's only compatible with the sampler tool. It won't take a DNA sample from the growth matrix. Maybe it needs a bigger specimen? Jolt it! As much as I love shocking things, I don't think it'll help. Alright. Better not. It might tell the lab director. We'll wait for her to come to us and we'll ask her a question. Me, this one. I can't get into the airlock. The airlock and the growth lab are secure areas. We grow potentially hazardous organisms beyond those doors. I'm trying to conduct an investigation here. Don't make me get a warrant from Central. I'm sorry, Central would likely agree with us. We can't just give anyone access to the growth lab. Not even a cell agent? I'd need a pretty damn good reason. I wonder why Regis hid a message inside the DNA of these plants. DNA's been used as a data storage medium before. Rather than on-off binary, DNA would be quaternary bits. Adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine. If he just left a message on one of the systems, though, or even on paper... Then someone could have destroyed or erased it. Short of burning down the entire lab, they'd have no way to be sure they destroyed a message hidden like this. Especially since he scrambled so many of the other samples as camouflage. He needs to make sure it's found. And based on the layout, he wants me to find it. So therefore, we need to get into the airlock. Are you joking? Come on. I tried talking to your intern. It wasn't helpful. Oh, never mind that. He's got aphasia. Isn't that treatable? Oh, yes. He just gave it to himself. It's what the kids are into these days. What? Crippling neurological disorders? Yes and no. Maladism, they call it. They give themselves old diseases. It only lasts about a week each time. And you let him do that? Mm, he's not public-facing. And as long as it doesn't get in the way of his work. 
I figure we all did things the old folks thought were stupid back when we were kids. What am I missing here? I can't get it. The airlock. We grow. I'm trying. Don't. I'm. We can't. Not even. I. I gave you a good reason, you stupid Is person. Is that all? For now. Then if you. Dr. Lau, please continue your investigation of the murder of Dr. Baxter. Your involvement has been requested by the highest levels of civil government. Please find data relevant to the case on your secure system at cell headquarters. Can just leave? Oh, I could just leave. Oh. Well, you know what? I bet ya. I wish we could go. She said something about cell, uh, cell, cell headquarters. If this is the place where he just goes to to his, uh... wait, what? Doctor Lau, so good to see you again, my dear. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. But let's you ask. Should have made an appointment. Dr. Vargas, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. Certainly, my dear. Anything I can do to help. All right, here we go. What would you describe your role here as, Dr. Vargas? This is publicly available information, Dr. Lau. Now, Galatea, it is a reasonable question. For the past 18 years, I've held the role of controller of centralized government. I ensure that Central, our city governance, CI, is functioning within parameters. What would you say your political function within the city is? None at all. The elected council formulates city policy. It is merely Central's role to execute this and ensure the day-to-day well-being of the city. And it is fa Dr. Vargas's role to maintain Central's operations. Surely you're already aware of this, Dr. Lau. Just wanted to get it from the source. Sometimes, our desire to remain outside the political spectrum has led to rumors. We are not, however, the secret puppet masters behind the government of Newton. I shouldn't count you as my boss, then. Dr. Lau. <laughs> Heavens no, my dear. If anything, we are equals on an administrative footing. Central acts as director for both of our operations, though. How long have you known Dr. Regis? Since, uh, 2067, he joined a research project of mine. He was a good man then, very principled. And now? I have no doubt goodness remains. Though since joining Cell, I feel that he expresses this solely through his work. Do you know about his garden on Tier 42 of this building? Ah, yes. I've been there myself a couple of times. Though I hope we can keep that between us, Dr. Lau. What did you think of it? It is... Certainly an interesting way of coping with grief. Though that it has lasted so long is perhaps cause for concern. See, I wonder if we could use our sampler up on that tree up there. This is so much talking. What can you tell me about <laughs> this incident? Currently not a great deal. Hence why you have been tasked with this investigation. Dr. Baxter has been found murdered in his workplace. And Dr. Regis was caught entering and leaving the facility by their security infrastructure. How about a background to the case? A history? Baxter has been responsible for the murder of Viksha Regis. Charles Regis's wife. Yeah, he know. was caught and convicted, and until recently had been serving a sentence for the crime. I'm aware of this so far, yes. He had recently been paroled with the Vickerman Corporation as his sponsor. I can only imagine Regis's feelings on the matter. Violent, no doubt. But I knew Charlie Regis, and I know what kind of man he was. Justice is his motivator, but with his background, out in the hot zones. You worry that this might have been his idea of justice? Precisely. That, my dear, is why I need you to investigate this case before Central jumps to any conclusions to the matter. You mentioned Regis's wife, Viksha. Ah, yes. Vicky. She was a student of mine in the 50s, in Buenos Aires. 
she spent several years working for the UN in hot zones around the world. When she had finished, she was the natural choice for the project I was just commencing. He never really spoke about her. They were very much in love. It pains me greatly to see a man so afflicted by a loss. She was a engineer as well? Yes and no. She specialized in organic computing, a field perhaps more closely aligned to your own. Could someone else have done this? Hmm. Though Regis has an obvious motive, can you think of anyone else who might have a reason to do this? I shall be honest. Dr. Baxter was not an easy man to work with. There were many who disliked him in his time, though none I knew could call him his uh, enemy. You mentioned a project that Victor was recruited for. I'm afraid that's classified. Galatea, how can we help if we block every question? It was a project that utilized the expertise of both Viksha and Charles. Essentially, we were studying organic interfacing and large-scale computing. Large-scale, as in city coordination intelligences, like Central? On this matter, I can answer no further. Hmm. What was your opinion of Dr. Baxter? As a scientist, 20 years ago, he was peerless in his field. But as a human being? He did not take refusal well. This apparently is what led to his breakdown. And the murder that followed that. Precisely. I have not spoken to him personally since the trial, however. I'm afraid I couldn't enlighten you about his recent state of mind. I examined Dr. Baxter's body at the laboratory. What did you find? He's been decapitated. His head smashed in. My goodness! I've taken initial readings, but they're proving inconclusive. Even time of death. The lab's environment is throwing the chromatographs. Once he's been moved to cell for autopsy, we should get a clearer picture of what happened. But why did you cut Central's feed? Dr. Vargas, I really need to ask. In my office, why did you cut Central's feed? That's classified, Dr. Lau. I'm afraid I cannot give you a complete answer on that subject. But a number of factors regarding yesterday's network attack have raised concerns. Not least the timing. It may be that Central's administration has been compromised. You believe it's linked to Baxter's murder? What makes you say that? You cut the camera when talking to me about it. You were concerned that whoever may have compromised Central would find out what we were discussing. Ha! Well, I have no fear of the quality of Cell's investigative staff now. I learned from the best. Okay, let's compliment the office, because, you know... It's a fantastic view from up here. Isn't it? That's why I choose to work from up here. The only part higher in Fulcrum Tower is Central's operating center. You could probably see all the way to Mombasa on a clear day. I'm certainly aware of your role in the city, Dr. Vargas. But who is your lovely assistant? His daughter. <laughs> of course, you haven't been properly introduced. This is my daughter, Galatea. She fills the role of my administrative support. I'm being groomed for succession, apparently. Oh, don't put it like that. You make it sound so uh, dynastic. That certainly is not what we wish to represent. What was your field before going into politics? I was a computer scientist and a lecturer at Buenos Aires. In the 60s, the government of Newton was looking for research administrators. It eventually transpired that this role in itself was a kind of test. The city council was looking for suitable individuals to manage Newton's new CI. Central? Yes and no. It was what eventually became Central. Dr. Vargas, have you heard of mind jacking? Excuse me? I'm afraid I have not, Dr. Lau. What is it? It's the case Regis and I were working on lately. A number of individuals had their brains flash wiped by a destructive copying technique. That sounds most appalling, Dr. Lau. Does it pertain to this case? Not that I'm aware of, sir. It might give someone a reason to frame Regis, though, especially if they thought that we were getting too close. So perhaps Regis is a victim of attempted character assassination. To use Baxter as a means of doing so would be drastic. Why don't you believe that Dr. Regis is responsible for Baxter's death? I cannot say for certain that he is not, Dr. Lau. I simply hold on to the hope that he is not. 
My investigation has brought up an interesting find. It appears that while he was at the lab, Regis took the time to alter some of the specimens there. Really? That is most peculiar. Even more so, he appears to have hidden a quaternary data string in the genomes of these subjects. What does the data contain? An audio-visual message, but it's still fragmented. I believe that Regis was trying to leave a message directed at myself, regarding what happened. This is a remarkable find, Dr. Lau. Please, continue your work. This may clear up what really happened in that laboratory. Yes, now a ask for access to the rooms you don't have access to. They'll say yes, and then we can just waltz back over there. Huh? Huh? While I was speaking to Dr. Chigwa, she told me about Central. Apparently both Charlie and Vic Regis were involved in its creation. Dr. Lau, that's classified. I believe we can trust her, Galadea. Indeed, I brought Viksha onto the project at its inception. She recommended Charlie. They were not married at this stage. This is unbelievable. He doesn't exactly have a high regard for Central. I suppose I can sympathize. It is an unhappy association for him. Yet he will not allow himself the glorious reputation and history he deserves as one of those who created Central, an AI like none before. Thank you, Dr. Vargas. You've been most helpful. Anything I can do to help. Okay, to be honest, not really. Not really that helpful. Let's look I'm out the glad window. I had my fear of heights turned off. Oh, that's convenient. Nope, sorry. Okay, let's look at it. Classically styled painting, Pygmalion by Simon Denver. Cool. All right, well, that was uh, not incredibly helpful. We got some history, we got some background, but they didn't actually help us get into the rooms we need to get into, as far as I'm concerned, at least. Sorry, Regis. Photograph. Can we look at it, at least? A physical photograph. The team. February 2067. Wait, Nina, Adam... Wardo, Gwen, Vicky, Charlie. Regis is probably the only person I know who'd want his picture on paper. I guess defacing a digital one just isn't the same. Hey, there's Dr. Chigwa as well. Wait, there is? And look at it. A physical. Oh, right there. Cool. Regis is. Hey. Um, I don't think there's actually anything helpful here. Got to wait till the AI. All right. Sorry. So I think we need to get three more. Those three empty blanks up there. I'm going to need to. Figure it out still? I'm not sure. Alright, well, there's nothing helpful here. Let's go. We grabbed the picture, I guess. Maybe we can show that to. Gwen? I am at a loss right now, huh? I gotta think about this. I was really hoping we could get to. Let's see. Can we show her that? What do you think of this? Oh my. Is that. Goodness, it seems like such a long time ago. The project was just starting and we were all so buoyant, so keen. I've never seen Regis looking this happy before. He was a different man before he lost Vicky. He's always been a good one though. I still can't quite believe he'd have done this. And if you don't help me, Central's going to hunt him down. Please, Dr. Chigwa, I need to get into the growth lab as part of my investigation. Hmm. All right, then. What? I don't know if you'll find anything significant in there. If it helps clear Charlie, though, there. I've added you to the access list. Okay, well, that was easy. I mean, that's so roundabout. We have to go to his desk, grab a... Holy crap, like, it's just... You have to check everything in these games. Everything. Including, like, a pipe. Nothing happened. So production lab, all right, first aid kit. This could be useful. Looks Auto like injector. a lot of cartridges for the injector. Holy moly. Epinephrine though, huh? huh? 
Uh, let's cancel it, because I don't know what the hell we're doing. Looks like a Alright, so we've got the injector. We'll see what we need it for before I fill it with something. And let's go to the growth lab. Probably can give uh, Neiman something, I'm guessing, to get rid of his... his aphasia. So let's grab what we can. Blue plants. Grab every plant. I'm taking a DNA sample. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know. I'm taking a deep. So that we got pipes over here too. Oops. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. We're just clicking on things. This is the Adoxia Panans. This is the oh, same thing. All right. And we've got a yellow one and a purple one. Ah, oh, crap. All right, Orchidacea Isotroria. That's the one we need. I don't know what that pipe did. It's over here. Not in use. All right. We should have what we need. I don't know what this pipe thing does, but we clicked it anyway. Let's go complete this task. Walk out this way. I'm guessing we're gonna have to give Neiman an injection of something. Looks okay. like Regis didn't. I'm guessing it's the third one that's gonna give us something, not not the first two. Looks like Re here we go. What? Looks like Regis. All right, go back. We saw those purple plants. Also, we should toss the growth matrix. I forgot. We should to toss the uh, growth matrix in the unused. The unused terminal. So let's do this, if this is possible. There, I've planted the growth matrix. Let's hope I got mom's green fingers. How long does it take to grow? This is the one I planted the growth matrix inside. Can I take anything from it? I don't think I can plant that. What? No. No one's at- what? No. Alright, purple plants. I don't know what else we would need. That one's not in use. I don't know why I just clicked on that. Ah. Oh. Chamber A, Chamber B. Gamma Vulgaris. Can I grab that over there? Not quite. I'm guessing if we just leave and come back, this thing will be, like, exploded all over the place. I don't know what's in them, but they look important. Huh. Warning. Copyright breach in progress. Excuse me? You are not authorized to remove Orchidacea isotria samples from the growth lab. We are copyrighted property of Typho Labs GmbH. Beginning purge. Oh! Hey, my sample! What did you do? To prevent theft of intellectual property, gene sequences in your possession have been neutralized. Have a nice day. Gee, thanks. Alright, so that's what this does. Nothing happened. We need to break the pipes. Can I see what each one of these things does? Looks like a lot. Apparently not. Use 
test breathing apparatuses. Looks like a Acid testing, no. Looks like Biology would be helpful right now, but I don't know. Cyanide poisoning, nope. Looks like a I bet you it's epinephrine this time too. Deactivating wetware. Wait. So what if I did this? Oh. Oh, okay. Looks like Quadrolytic formal formulate? I don't know what it said. Toxin for microorganisms. Looks like Diamina Fulabana trial. What does it do? Diamino malio nitrile? I don't even know. Looks like Looks like Draculin. I like that. Like the sound of that. And a natural anticoagulant found in vampire bats. Okay. Looks like epinephrine. Is that gonna help me with this dude over there? You hear kids take it while trancing. I wonder. Get over here, Neister, Neister. Every Thursday, a tribe of domineering braggarts awkwardly smears the ugly fiction monger with horses. I see. Apparently that didn't help. Oh, so we're just gonna keep doing this. Okay, well... I mean, this is probably safe, just pumping up a bunch of shit. Looks like a... Potassium chloride? Fertilizer. Let's go. Dude, what is up with her eyeballs? Have they always been like that? Holy smokes! I'm taking a DNA sample from it. I don't- I hope it doesn't grow in my pocket. I don't think we need... Fertilizer. I can't inject them. <laughs> All right. I need to break the other pipe too. I think if I get the steam out of it, maybe it won't do anything in here. I'm not quite sure about that. Both la la ba da ba do ba da. All right. Let's see if this will work. If it doesn't, uh, I'm gonna have to come back because this episode's almost 40 minutes long already. Yes! Cool. Oh. Dead missing sectors I'm as well. going to need to find where he's hidden the rest of the message before I get any sense out of it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a good start. We've gotten one more in this whole time. God. Uh, so next time we will complete the message and figure out where to go from there. So thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying some Techno Babylon, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Goodbye.